970. Props on the cable management and good choice on the sleeving, that looks very clean. Cable management is also pretty clean for the most part, aside from a few cables running through the back of the radiator, which he stated in the notes that he does not use, so that's fine, I guess. A pretty straightforward and clean setup, not much I can recommend here, thank you Ollie for entering. Next up is Jason and his multi-purpose setup. So he's got a sick dual ultra-wide monitor gaming setup with a 2010 MacBook Pro off to the side, which is used mainly for on the go. The main setup is rocking the 38-inch ultra-wide from LG, which is the exact same monitor I'm using for my setup, and he's also got a smaller 25-inch ultra-wide on top. It's interesting to see another person using the 38-inch because it's so massive, and there's literally nobody else that I know of that uses the same monitor. Unfortunately, it is capped at 60 hertz, making the purpose of this monitor mainly for productivity. I gotta say, the symmetry is on point. Everything is centered perfectly, and the cable management is done very well. Jason definitely put a lot of work into this setup, and it clearly shows. My favorite thing about this setup by far is the way he mounted his ultra-wide. So he picked up two Hamarp Oak countertops. We got one for the actual desk, and one for the monitor and speaker riser, and he cut off a piece of it in the shape of the curved monitor. Then he installed a mounting bracket and hooked up the display so it kind of sits flush between the two JBL monitor speakers. It's interesting because when you look at it from the front, it kind of looks like those speakers have its own dedicated stand, but it's actually one piece. That's very unique, and I haven't seen anything like it on the show yet. The keyboard he is using is the Cooler Master Quick Fire Rapid with brown switches, with the same typewriter keycaps we saw a few episodes ago. The mouse of choice is the Logitech G300S, and that's sitting on top of the Liebird extended mouse pad. A few other things he has on his desk are his Xbox One Lunar Control and the ancient iPod Classic, which he modded by the way. He replaced the original 30GB hard drive with a 64GB flash card, and it's also got a new shell. I love that you made that symmetrical with the Xbox controller. I just can't get over the cable management, a very clean job with the cable clips and zip ties. Also the rack he installed to keep everything off the ground is a huge plus. But check out his beast PC guys, this thing is ridiculous. It's rocking a 6850K at 4.6GHz combined with 64GB of RAM and not one, but two EVGA GTX 1080s in SLI. This is one clean looking build and I love the unique color scheme too. It's a white and black build with purple accents and it kind of matches the rest of his setup too. There isn't a strong dominant color scheme that sticks out from his setup and I think that's one of the things I really like about it. It's very subtle but it works at the same time. There's just two minor things that bother me and again I'm very anal when it comes to stuff like this so don't take it seriously. But I feel like that plant placement is a bit forced. Normally I don't put stuff in front of other objects because it doesn't look clean and you're also blocking the object behind it. It kind of feels like you really wanted that plant on your desk but didn't have enough room in the back so you decided to just leave it in front of the lamp blocking the view. Honestly, putting that on top of your PC wouldn't be a bad idea as long as you put something under it so it doesn't scratch your PC case. The other option would be to replace your plant with it, but personally, I think the lamp looks great there. It balances the overall mood of the setup and it goes well with your wallpaper. The other minor thing is the USB hub next to your PC. That's literally the first thing that stood out to me when looking at your PC. I love what you did with the other charging hub under the monitor shelf. It's tucked away nicely, so why not do the same thing for the other one? I know you have it hooked up to your PC, so picking up something like this Anchor 4 port USB with an extension cable would be perfect for your setup. You can not only hook it up to your PC, but keep it tucked away right next to the other one. Again, that's just my two cents. The setup you have here now is amazing as it is, and that PC though, it's freaking impressive. Thank you Jason for entering. Next up is Noah with a quad display setup. So he's rocking four 24 inch displays. We got two from Acer and two from Dell. But pay attention to the Rockville studio monitor speakers and how he mounted them. I've seen so many people in similar situations that either put the speakers sideways and put it right under the monitors or put them right in front of the display, which isn't right. The best effective way to add speakers to your setup without messing with quality if you don't have space like Noah here is to mount them on the wall with speaker stands. Obviously it's a more permanent solution but if you have a small desk or don't have enough space for large speakers then this is the best option available. Another option is buying height adjustable stands and placing them on the sides of your setup. I'll drop a link to the ones I recommend checking out in case you guys are interested. 
For peripherals, he's rocking the K70 RGB keyboard with the MX Master Mouse. Aside from the studio monitors up top, he does have a pair of Beats Studio Wireless Titanium headphones. I'm not going to give you any crap on the Beats headphones because I know my subscribers will, but what's up with the color of your walls? I like where he put his Xbox One console, right in between the Carlton Walnut countertop and the IKEA drawers. It's hidden away from sight and it doesn't take up any extra space on the desk. And while we're down here, just take a look at the cable management. It almost looks like an art piece with those cables bending in the same direction. Excellent work keeping everything together. Oh my god. I see a wire. I'm just kidding, it's not a big deal. But if you can run it down the back of the monitor stand so that it doesn't stick out, it will look a lot cleaner. But again, it's not a big deal. The PC powering the setup has a 4460 and a... oh jeez. It's such a clean build, but why did you not replace the other cables with the custom sleeves and you also have a stock heatsink? Guys, if you're not going to be pimping your PC, don't get a clear side panel. It's like buying a really nice house that looks awesome from the outside and when you look through the windows, it's nothing but a rat's nest. Don't do that, please. I'm surprised you were able to power all four monitors with that R9 290. But other than that, it's a pretty decent setup. Thank you, Noah, for entering. At number 4 we got Sané, who's a retired army vet who was inspired by my channel to build his PC. That is really awesome and I'm very grateful for your service. It really means a lot to me hearing those words coming from a vet. I appreciate you, thank you so much for taking your time to enter Setup Wars. So he's rocking a 29 inch ultra wide monitor that's sitting on top of one of the cleanest looking desks I've ever seen. So this is the Z-Line Designs Morven White Office Desk with a pullout drawer in the middle. It's also got see-through windows on the drawers, which I think looks pretty cool. On the desk, he's rocking the Razer Deathstalker keyboard and the Naga Chroma mouse, along with his pair of Insignia speakers, and we also got the HyperX Cloud 2 gaming headset. I like the built-in USB hub next to his speakers and that dope-looking mural on the wall. I like how it slowly transitions from black to white and then to red. Not only does it blend nicely with the color scheme of everything else, but I think it adds a nice layer of spice to the setup as well. And then we got his PC that's sitting on top of a custom painted nightstand, I think that's what it is. It's equipped with a 6700K and an MSI GTX 1070. One thing I also like about Sané is his collectibles, he has so many of them. There's even a couple of shelves dedicated to just figurines and collector's edition art books and guides. My dude is even a fan of Final Fantasy, that's what's up. But I think the coolest thing in his room by far is the signed game Juiced 2 from the characters that play them, I guess. I think that's who signed the cover, I'm not too sure, otherwise what's the point of framing it and putting it on the wall. Definitely a clean gaming setup, thank you very much Sané for entering. And if you're watching this video, can you please send me an email with a link to purchase that art piece because I need something to spice up this room, it's looking a bit bland. Uh, but anyways, thank you Sané for entering. Last but not least, we got William and what the hell is that? <laughs> oh my god, I seriously thought that was your setup. You almost gave me a freaking heart attack. But it turns out this is the picture of his setup before he began watching Setup Wars and that is freaking awesome that my show is responsible for this amazing transformation. Now this is more like my setup. Wow, that contrast is amazing. He's rocking the Acer Predator X34 Ultrawide that he hooked up on a mount, and it looks like the desk he's using consists of the IKEA Alex drawers and the Linman tabletop. The black on black actually looks pretty nice because it makes all the red stick out that much more. The symmetry game is also strong here. We got a pair of Kanto YU5 speakers on each side, we also got two figurines spaced out evenly and the Xbox One console that's skinned by D-Brands on the left side to balance the PC on the right. Speaking of which, it's decked out with a 6700K, an MSI GTX 1080 Gaming X graphics card and the cable mod sleeving. Very nice. Aside from the speakers, he's also using the popular M50X headphones and the HyperX Cloud Revolver headset for gaming. I love how he organized the stuff under his desk. He put his audio interface down here, along with a USB hub and the SD card reader. It's all within reach and the cable management is pretty much flawless. I love that even his cable raceway is in black. I'm pretty sure he painted that to match his setup because that usually comes in white. I love that dedication. Aside from that creepy mask above your monitor, that's a pretty sick black and red gaming setup with flawless cable management and symmetry.